Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. Quincy Jones, an iconic music producer known for his work with Michael Jackson on the best-selling album Thriller, died at 91 in Bel Air, California, surrounded by family. A powerhouse in the music industry, Jones was nominated for 80 Grammy Awards, winning 28. His career spanned collaborations with stars like Frank Sinatra and Michael Jackson, and he produced We Are the World, the best-selling single of all time. Beyond music, Jones co-produced The Color Purple with Steven Spielberg and executive produced The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. His family expressed pride in his legacy, noting that his joy and love would continue to resonate through his work. In other developments, Mount Lewatobi Laki Laki on Indonesia's Flores Island erupted early Monday, killing at least six people and damaging multiple villages. Thick ash and hot volcanic debris reached nearby communities, destroying homes, including a convent. The National Disaster Management Agency updated the death toll, previously reported as nine, and expanded the exclusion zone to a seven-kilometer radius as eruptions intensified. Over 10,000 residents in affected districts, including Wulangitang and Ile Bora, have been impacted, with buildings and fields blanketed in volcanic ash. Rescue operations are underway, and authorities have raised the volcano's alert level to its highest in other updates. Seven French families have filed a lawsuit against TikTok, claiming that its algorithm exposed their teenage children to harmful content promoting self-harm, suicide, and eating disorders, leading to the suicides of two 15-year-olds. Represented by lawyer Laure Boutron Marmion, the families seek to hold TikTok accountable for the platform's impact on minors, marking the first such collective case in Europe. Similar to Meta's Facebook and Instagram, TikTok faces numerous U.S. lawsuits alleging that the platform's design entices and addicts millions of children, negatively impacting their mental health. The company has stated that it takes mental health concerns seriously and has implemented measures to protect young users. In another update, Rebecca Fadinelli, 38, from Stoughton, Massachusetts, faces federal charges for allegedly importing and administering counterfeit Botox and fillers at her med spa locations in Randolph and Southeastern. Authorities allege Fadinelli conducted over 2,700 appointments since 2021, totaling nearly $1 million in client payments. The U.S. Attorney's Office claims Fadinelli illegally imported fake Botox, Sculptra, and Uvederm from China and Brazil, posing as a nurse to clients. In a statement to agents, Fadinelli denied presenting herself as a nurse or administering injections, despite evidence suggesting otherwise. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!